Today we're going to find out if you can find an entire team of shiny Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet without ever touching the ground. You heard that right, we are going to be using Flight for all six of these shiny hunts. Now for those of you who don't know, in the latest DLC, at the Blueberry Academy, once you have beaten the DLC, you actually get access to be able to permanently fly with your Pokemon. And I thought, what better way than to test this out than to see if we can use it for a big shiny hunting challenge. Now for this challenge, we are going to find six shinies, one in Paldea, one in Kitakami, and then one in each of the four areas of the Terrarium. I don't know how difficult this challenge is going to be, but I am excited to find out. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Wait, wait, wait. That's definitely shiny. First shiny, finally, after like eight hours of flying around. Shiny Golduck. Holy wow, that took forever. Okay. Um, into a Premier Ball maybe? We have 93 of them. Well, that didn't work at all. After a while, I was actually thinking maybe it wasn't actually going to... Uh, Allow us to find a shiny wall in the air. There's the critical capture. Alright, there we go. One shiny down, five to go, and I think I we're on our... We're gonna go to Kitakami next, I think. I think out of everything that we possibly could have found, I never would have thought we'd see a gold deck. Alright, and that is our first shiny out of the way. Paldea is done. This challenge has so far been a lot harder than I thought because the speed at which you fly does not allow you to see that many spawns. But now that we have Paldea out of the way, it's time for us to jump into the first part of the DLC, the land of Kitakami. What will we get here? I'm excited to see. There's a lot of cool Pokemon. Oh, shiny. Shiny Houndour. Where'd they go? There it is. Boom. See, that one only took about two hours to get. Which makes a lot more sense. You know, I just want to catch these in a Premier Ball. Alright, come on. Critical capture, perfect. Two down, four to go. And shiny number two has been obtained, and it's a really cool one. I absolutely adore Hondauer. It's such a great shiny. But now it's time for the big one. We get to jump into the terrarium. We have to get four shinies here, one in each area. Which one are we going to find a shiny in first? There's only one way to find out. Ah, finally, shiny. Oh, I thought I wasn't going to get it tonight. Oh, we only have like an hour left of this outbreak. But that's what doing it at full odds will get you. It's a good looking shiny though. It actually looks really good. Nice, didn't catch it on the first ball. It's also getting really late, so I'm a little quieter. Apologies, but Reuniclus caught. Nice, that's the ice area out of the way. Three down, three to go. Maybe I'll reset for another cool outbreak. And the polar area goes down with a Reuniclus. I did use an outbreak for this, but it is full odds because we can't land to take out any of the Pokemon. And that is a really cool shiny. I love Reuniclus's cry. It is so unique and it reminds me of like 8-bit video games almost. But with the winter area out of the way, there's only three left. We are halfway through. So let's jump back at our Maraidon and get back in flight. That's a shiny. I can't even believe I noticed it. Hang on, stop running into me. I thought the green looked a little green. Get, get, get over here. All right, shiny number four. The shiny out of the highlands-like area, the mountains. Done and dusted. Nice. Man, we can't get a crit capture to save our life, can we? 
What about a Premier Ball? That'll work, right? Dang. Do critical captures just not exist anymore? Ultra Balls should work. Eventually. There is the critical capture. Nice. I'm glad we got this one out of the way. It's been like the most annoying to get through because of how, how high up it is. All right, we only have two more areas to go. The beach area and the savanna area. All right, let's move on. And there goes the mountain area. The mountain area was probably the hardest area that I thought we were going to have. And I don't know how I spotted this shiny. I clearly couldn't see the pink. I was only able to see the green. And I thought I would miss a Scyther if we came across it. But it turns out we were able to see it just fine. Now we have four out of the six shinies we need. All we have left is the beach area, which has a lot of water. And then the savanna area, which is probably going to be the easier one of the two. So I think now it's time to jump into the beach area because I want to get the harder one out of the way. Shiny, shiny cottony. I will take it. That's actually a really nice shiny too. All right, that's the second to last area down. I was kind of hoping to have this area last, just because the um, next area is just kind of bland looking, but... Oh well, beggars can't be choosers. Let's see if we can just catch this on a Premier Ball that is only a Cottony, but it is level 67. No, nah, didn't work at all. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can catch this thing with one of the 35 Ultra Balls we have left. Okay, we sure can. Alright, that is the second to last one down. We are ready to move on to the final area. And I'm not sure what I really want to get out of there. I think it'd be cool to get like a, like a Vibrava or like a Blitzel or something. And the beach area goes down with a shiny cottony. Shiny cottony is absolutely insane. It looks absolutely beautiful with those like autumn yellow or orange vibes. Probably one of the cooler shinies or better looking shinies we could have gotten out of the area. And it wasn't actually too hard. I thought it'd be much harder because of the lag you get when running over the water. And obviously we didn't do any water hunting here. Now that we have five Pokemon, there's one area left, the Savannah area. There's a lot of Pokemon here that can be really tough to see, especially in the yellow grass. But I am so excited to see what we're going to find here. Let's jump into the last hunt we need to do. Wait, is that shiny already? That is. Shiny, um, execute. I meant to save the game. Nice. That only, how long did that take? Oh, 40 minutes. Not bad. A pretty good looking shiny to end it off to. How easily are we going to catch it? Yeah, I didn't think so. We've not caught a single one on the first ball, I don't think. That's that's probably not true. I'm probably just misremembering. Mis Two, three. What? You, you know, eggs. That's really rude. Ultra ball work for me. There we go. Critical capture. Sweet. All right, and that is all six shinies done. Let's quickly take a look in our box and see what we managed to get. Take a little quick overview. All right, so the first thing we found was a gold deck, pretty cool shiny to see. And then we got a Hondaur out of Kitakami. Reuniclus are one Pokemon out of an outbreak, which was in the snowy ice area. And then Scyther, which I'm actually shocked we noticed out of the, um, like the canyon area. And then just recently we got Cottony, a really nice orange shiny and autumn color out of the beach area. And then ended it off with some golden eggs out of the savanna biome. A lot of really cool shinies, honestly. Reuniclus is really cool. Cottony is a really good looking shiny. Hondaur is pretty cool. So yeah, a pretty good six shinies, I will say. And there you have it, a shiny execute to end it all off in the savanna area. Not the most exciting of shinies to end it off, I will say. However, it's still a really nice shiny. I haven't found one yet, but I have one now. 
I gotta say, this was such an interesting and fun challenge to do. However, actually getting shinies takes quite a while because you can't see every spawn because you don't turn very well on Maridon and Cryodon. But I do suggest if you haven't done a hunt like this before, you gotta try it. It's a lot of fun for the novelty of getting to find a shiny without touching the ground at all. It reminds me a lot of how you used to find shinies in Pokemon Legends Arceus when flying on Braviary. If you guys enjoyed the video and want to see me do another challenge similar to this in the future, don't forget to leave a like and comment down below which of the shinies that I found in this video are your favorite. Mine is probably gonna be Hondauer. I abs- no, no, scratch that, it's Reuniclus. Reuniclus is so cool it's kind of a weird pokemon but i kind of like that and again it's cry absolutely outstanding and as always subscribe if you're new share with your friends it helps me out a ton and i'll catch all of you guys in the next video peace